What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action, bringing you the very last installment for the time being of classical ships. Hope you guys are enjoying them. Spawning in the, less, the left side of the map in the blue color playing as Zeus. His name is Peggy Rush. His opponent today in the red color playing as Oranus. His name is Moore and he's brave taking on the mighty Zeus with his mighty Uranus. The map is Mediterranean, of, of course. Everyone's favorite map. How could you not like this map given that you could train three separate unit types now in the classical age? Nothing's better than that. Nothing. It's just a good time all around. You see, uh, more going for two fishing ships here. Um, sometimes, I'm not sure if this... I, I, I don't play Uranus enough, obviously, but this is uh, this is what Moore's going to go for. Will he uh, dump this fishing ship in to make sure he gets a villager out? Or looks like it's just going to be able to afford it anyways. Feels good. We'll see what Peggy Rush is going to go for here. Um, or if he's going for anything special. Villager building in the house. Wood villager building in the house. It's fairly standard. Moving forward. So you're going here. Five villages on wood. I wonder if you go for a little bit later advanced times now. Because you can get siege ships out. And you can get Pantacontas out really quickly as well. You could possibly... I think that there is some... There, there could be some argument made for going for um, like a 4.45 or a 5 minute advance time now on Mediterranean. You're, if your opponent rushes you off the fish, you can garrison into your dock. You get the extra fish because you had extra fish anyways. Extra food, sorry. And then and then if your opponent goes for any siege ships, you can build Pentacontes. If he goes for the archer ships, you can build siege ships. If he goes for siege ships, you can go Pentacontes. Or Ahama ships, you know? Anyways. See what these guys are going for. I wouldn't be surprised to see more just simply go for a, a 430 here. Or, or as close to a 430 as you can possibly get given the map. Looks like this is probably a 430 map. For some reason he's going to eat the chicken up here. But, you know, you, it is what it is. Catascope is moving forward. One more fishing ship and then we will see a temple coming out for more. I was going down for pe uh, for uh, for Pegasus Rush. Still no temple though. It is getting a little bit late. So, oh, he's going for a lady advance time. He, I, this is obviously a, a tester here, testing out Siege Barim or even just like the bigger economy for the Zeus. Still no temple going up. Temple going up now for more, and that's going to be up just in time. There's the temple for uh, for Pegasus Rush. He's got eight villages on wood right now. So he is spamming out these fishing ships. The one thing about Mediterranean that's a little bit unfortunate is that um, you only get nine fish close to your docks. And there's a, there's like two fish or so in the in the middle or like eight fish in the middle. Or looks like there's ten fish in the middle. But um, they're, they're all in the middle. So it's a bit of a, a more difficult to gather from. But there we go, village is moving. It looks like, uh, yeah, it's going for a full 45. An interesting build order here from Pegasus Rush. And he's even going through Hermes here. That's very, very interesting. Going to be able to, uh, well, ceasefire if he needs to. Not going for a dock. No, there's the dock on in front of these ones. Maybe three docks here. Not a bad idea. Whereas more, he is already 55% of the way to the Classical Age going through Prometheus. Let's check out the resources here. Moore's only got two villagers on gold. The rest on wood, it looks like. So he's not going for siege. He's leaving his oracles at home so he can valor them and defend against any sort of minotaur or centaur shenanigans. But both the docks are up now, so everything's going millhouse for the Greek. We do see a single siege ship getting built here. This siege ship against the Zeus is, it seems to be maybe a mistake because it always gets bolted, but it is only 90 gold. As opposed to the other civilizations where it's 100 gold. But I think it's a touch weaker as well, right? Maybe, yeah, it's only got 7% hack armor. Um, 
let me check this out as well. It's got it's got ten less HP as well. Three percent less hack armor, ten less HP. We're all gonna be moving in with his archer ships, building another siege ship here. Will we see the bolt? Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Almost one hits a fishing ship. Not bolting this either. That's so good. That is so good. We just see Pentaconta's getting massed up here by, uh, by Pegasus Rush. He's got eight of them in his docks right now. The question is going to be, well, more is slightly housed here. Can the Barams defend against the onslaught of these Pentacontas? He's just massing them up and he's going to go for it. He's got, well, he doesn't have restoration. Maybe he could have had restoration here, but there's the Pentacontas coming out, ready to start cleaning up on these Siege Barams. Siege Barams very slow, going to be able to easily pick this one off. Going after the next one. There's so many Barims though. But does it matter? Can the Pentacontas micro? They, they can. They're super quick. You just have to get on top of them to, to deal with it. But the, these hammer ships already on top of all of the archer ships here. Pushing them back. And it's looking like these Pentacontas on the back of the Siege Barims here. Going to be able to clean those up very, very quickly here. As Peggy Raj is just going for it through the arch ships. There's just not enough uh, firepower here from these Barims just yet to defend. Maybe more needs to start making his own uh, hammer ships to defend against these Pentacondas as they just push through. And it's looking like uh, Peggy Rush needs to defend, move back now. He's going to start making some triremes, but he's done a lot of damage now to Moore's Barims or Moore's army here. And Moore's moving forward and back. The, the, the Pentacondas move at roughly the same speed as these Barims here. But they, like I said, I, I've said this before, but like melee units, like archer units do not counter melee units, generally speaking, because they generally do more damage than the archer units do. So if they've got more HP or similar HP, and they've got more damage, and the, the armor doesn't matter that much, but it's looking like if you can tank anything, it's good. So you've got to build a couple of Pantaconta or a couple of, uh, what are they called as, as um, a couple of fire ships um, as, as the, or something, a couple of tank units basically for the Bereams to, to have sit in front while your archer ships clean up the, the hammer ships here. But super interesting gameplay so far here on the water, building out these, uh, these hammer ships. We're now seeing some dragon ships, some juggernauts coming out for for uh, Pegasus Rush, ready to start pushing forward because he needs to chew through all the Barims. And now the question is going to be, can the micro happen? The micro is super important now because these these juggernauts deal six crush damage and the 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 archer ships have 10 percent crush armor i think there's four there's three shots that come through right so they're doing something like 18 crush damage to the barims it's a lot of damage and now we just see them moving we've got some siege barims here four more as well as he's trying to defend there's no hammer ships out though and now peggy rush is just thinking yep i can win this fight right now i can push through take out all of these ships especially with the help of the juggernauts the pentacon they're all getting destroyed though as the barims are sort of on mass enough we do see some siege barims coming out for more no hammer ships just yet uh for more just making the siege barims but the pentaconta pretty much all cleaned up and now we're going to transition into potentially more of a uh a siege barim uh versus a juggernaut fight here both the juggernauts have only 10%, 7% crush damage. We do see a shockwave here for more. Does hit a couple of these units. But still no fire ships coming out for, for more. A little bit uh, uh, confusing here as to why he's not doing that because the fire ships can take out these juggernauts very, very easily. Uh, but looking like Peggy can just sort of happily sit underneath here. There's some more Pentaconta coming in for Peggy Rush, ready to take out these Siege Barims. We do see a finally a third dock, and now we're going to see some fire ships coming out for, uh, for more here in order to deal with these Juggernauts. They, they, they build incredibly quickly at nine seconds. I thought, maybe they are, don't build that quickly, but they do build that quickly here. 
And he can pop them out when he wants to. We just see more and more of these units coming out. There we go. The uh, fire ships coming out, ready to start pushing uh, Peggy Rush back at this point, taking down these Pentacontas uh, somewhat, but he should be more more focusing after the uh, the Juggernauts, and they deal so much damage. They're pretty much exactly the same as a Pentaconta, 235 HP versus 240 HP, 20 damage versus 20 damage, uh, 6.75 speed, a little bit slower versus 7 speed, and uh, I'll pretty much the rest is the same, right? So just a little bit weaker, but it doesn't matter that much. Uh, they do miss, though, it looks like. With a track rating of only 3.5. Oh. Oh, fire ship aren't the best. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to build fire ship. Maybe that needs a look at. I didn't realize fire ship was so bad. Obviously, because you never see them. They're a sad unit. A very sad unit. But you need to make some... Um, you need to make some, some Barim there, but we've talked about this before. Losing the water at 11 minutes, no problem. These Pentaconta spam just comes in, and he's going to completely decimate these docks. They're going to go down so very, very quickly, and you just you just can't stay alive at this point. These Pentaconta are just so strong. The fire ships from, from Moor are not going to be able to help out any longer. He can go for some raids, though. What, what damage? They don't have any bonus damage or anything. What a sad unit. What an absolute sad, sad unit. We need to change the uh, the track rating to 10 on these. Um, should have happened a long time ago, I think. Counter barracks, military barracks coming up now for more. More docks maybe going to get snuck up. Town center coming up now for Peggy Rush. You see some Barim getting built for more, but probably not the best of ideas. Lots of villagers now eating the Oroch over here. Ready to start making some units. We'll see if more can make anything happen here or not. But all the docks have been uh, have been cleaned up. And it seems that uh, Zeus yet again claims victory over the water. And I'm not going to say it was the fire ships not being able to hit units problem, but it, it was. <laughs> the fancy gone to taking down these fire ships as well doing very very good there's the settlement coming up we do see some prometheans and the oracles coming in both town centers going up at the same time we do see some military some mermillo coming through here as well for more it does have a lot of food or did have a lot of food and come from that uh that oracle and also has a couple of boar over here as well atlantean one of the better gods that uh at eating these sort of these sort of boars because you can eat those and then trans transfer over to the wood pretty easily as well. Doesn't have to throw down a granary or anything like that. We do see the Odysseus coming in here to push this back. Another Valor coming in, getting these Mamillo up to full HP. The Odysseus getting pushed back. This town center probably going to get up no problems. We do see the Hoplites and Hippocon coming through right now for uh, for Pegasus Rush and the third town center coming up as well. So no real surprises there. We do see some archery rangers coming in now for for Peggy Rush. Apollo coming through as well. Nice timing on the the heroic age. We don't see a heroic age just yet for more. He's built maybe built too many units. Uh, in order to in order to hit that timing, also obviously more has the fish economy, or sorry, Peggy Rush has the fish economy with per scene sitting with about what looks to be ten. So I only got nine fishing ship. Did lose a couple of fishing ship here to to some raids. Now moving forward, looking to get this fortress up as well. In the face of more, <laughs> you get this stuck with dogs back up and. I mean, look at these, these, these Caraballos will be able to take the uh, Pentaconta down nice and easily, though. The uh, the Hippocon going to be pushing in, though. Look at the damage they do. That's hilarious. And we do see the uh, the Dock Guards go down. Another fire ship coming out. you got to make Bareems. They just take a little bit too long to, to take down. But, uh... 
Seeing the, the dog's dealing some damage here. Can we repair the, repair the dog? Wild. Hoplite's going to be try, coming in, trying to take down the counter barracks, take down the town center. There are Carabalas here. Ready to defend, though. Do we see any sort of upgrade with the plow coming through for Peggy Rush? And it's looking like these... Uh, these water units, are, this navy of, of Peggy Rush has dwindled. Potentially Moore can fight back on the water if he wants now, but maybe Peggy Rush doesn't care. Three town centers, what does it matter? Nice shockwave there hitting all of those hoplites back. Now the Kyrabalas to get them off them. You see the hero citizens taking down the Manticore in the back here, utilizing his uh, his bonus, bonus damage there. And the Manticore does go down. These hoplites running to their doom right now against the Kyrabalas though. But the, uh, the dock that was up, slowly going down with no units in here. So have the dock fire these, uh, these Pentacons to do a lot of damage now. But the uh, fortress is up, some Ford Sentry Towers coming down. There'll be a Watch Towers very soon. Quarry coming through for, for Peggy Rush. Still no, no uh, Watch Tower, but should be able to get those up. We just see some nice defense here from Moore though, moving his Carabalas to Ford game. A little bit over, over eager with them, unfortunately. A big problem for more right now is going to be he has to start farming, yeah. No plow just yet either. He does have it coming through though. And Peggy Rush's economy is just going to be very, very large here. Got the uh, more Carabalas coming in. Is, is basically, these units are just a, a stopping power unit. Really hard to push on them. But Petropolis is going to come out and going to start hitting these... Uh, this town of Arax and this town center. In fact, he can probably sit behind the wood line here and then fling over. He doesn't even need to come in here. Is that what he's going to try? now? he doesn't use it. He's going to throw up stable and, and some walls here, making this very difficult to uh, defend against. Maybe he can take down one of the Petropolis, but probably not. We just hear a hero citizen, re citizen repairing very, very quickly here. Lots of repairing. We see a, a slight raid down the bottom gets denied there. There's Petropolis. Should be able to take down the counter barracks and then deal with the, the town center as well. At some point. Look at this thing that he needs to target this guy. Take, take, well, maybe he doesn't. Petropolis just completely decimate now. We see the, the village is switching over here onto the. The town center to reheal it now for the third Petropolis. This town center will be going down. Do we see any heroic age? We do see Thayer coming through, but Peggy Rush, patented Hera, hates going for Feistus, loves Hera. Utilizing that one, will probably be able to take down all these Carabalas. They have a lot of hot, they are very high on the pierce armor. I'm pretty sure Lightning Storm does pierce damage. But they should probably all fall, anyways. The town center does fall. There's the Thayer coming through for more. He's going to start getting Dryads out, getting out uh, Stymphalion Birds. He's got some Watchtowers up as well. <laughs> the Juggernaut's already out here. This has been a Royal Gage for quite some time, so that's not really anything new. He needs the Stymphalion Bird to come over and snipe this if he wants to, and he does do that. Does a lot of damage to the Juggernaut. Well, it doesn't do a lot of damage to the Juggernaut, I should say. Now, Fire Ship coming in. Two Fire Ships coming in to take down the, uh, the Juggernaut here for both... Both parties do fall victim to each other. We drag him into the palace. And there's the lightning storm and there's the tap out. GG. Well played. Thanks for in, uh, for, uh, for the... What do you call it? My experiment. For participating in my experiment here. It was really fun. Did notice something that needs changing in the fire ship. But it, uh, it was a lot of fun for sure. And lots of stuff to be experimented with. Anyways, if you enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow button on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next game.